What's going on everyone? My name is MG The Future. Thank you for joining me on my channel today. First, I want to start off saying Merry Christmas, everyone. Happy holidays. Stay woke. Stay woke. All um, of that. Today's been a quite eventful day. Um, in some earlier videos, you might hear me saying, uh, we got to get that MG, uh, get a new mouse fund. Um, so <laughs> we don't have to do that no more. Out with the old, look how terrible this is, and how worn it is, and in with the new. Magic Mouse 2.0. So I'm good now. I can, I can, I can rip and run without any hangups on the mouse game. But today what I really wanted to do, um, I wanted to flip a Christmas sample. So it's kind of a two for one. And the only reason why I wanted to do that is because Machine Masters released a new sample pack Saturday, which is here. And on sample pack Saturday, Billy Blaze put in like five Christmas samples. Um, a lot of them was from the Peanuts and I'm actually flipping one. The guy who makes that main Peanuts theme that everyone knows, he has another track. So I flipped that in this demonstration. Also, just a heads up, um, anyone who didn't get the course or any of my kits yet, there is a 50% off sale going on until New Year's. Um, if you use the code HOLIDAY17, so that link to get to the store with all my items are gonna be in the description of this video. And if you're a Machine Masters member, you can get all the sample pack Saturdays. So on Instagram, you'll see a sample pack Saturday hashtag and Machine Masters repost all of them. So that's pretty cool for exposure sake. Um, but other than that, I was also trying to get FL Studio working because they did a new beta 2.0. However, it nuked our VSTs. And what's kind of interesting about that is that I was going to make the beat in FL <laughs> for, for old time sake kind of thing. But um, I can't, I can't get VSTs open. Um, and they were talking about, you know, don't do anything mission critical. The beta is about to expire in two weeks. So I'm thinking um, the transitioning effect of me going to Reason was in perfect time. Because although I own FL Studio historically, until they decide what they're gonna do with us as Mac users in this particular run of the beta. We don't know if they're gonna surprise us with FL20 and it'll be a full featured program for Mac users, like they're doing it parallel. We don't know if all the R&D from this and the log files um, is going to push it back a few months until like summertime. I mean, you never know what, with ImageLine in terms of the Mac because uh, the development for the alpha has been there for years, right? So a lot of us got excited. A lot of us was on that wave, but I might have actually inevitably needed to change programs in the interim. So um, just a heads up to any of my people who watch me on the strength of FL Studio. If you're a Mac user, um, it's about to get real in two weeks. But you know, you never know. Um, hopes up. But I, what I also wanted to show you guys is a follow-up to lo-fi stuff. I actually got a new response from the homie, um, Plus MA. Um, I remember in one of my old videos, I said, uh, the homie Mujo re reached, uh, responded. He never did. BSD.U never responded. Uh, Mujo never responded. I, I, I reached out basically to the pillars of the current incarnation of lo-fi hip-hop and Plus MA is the only one that's responding. And not only is he responding, he's dropping gems. So I'm not gonna hold nothing against everyone else. I mean, how often do you check your SoundCloud messenger, right? But Plus MA is about that life. I'm about that life. So this is what he said. Hey man, really interesting video and good points on lo-fi. So he saw the video. I, I sent him the link in SoundCloud. He actually watched it. He said, some things I want to add. I don't think downsampling is so important in lo-fi. By that, he means a uh, sample rate reduction. It could be a stylistic device, but it's not necessary. Meaning you might still hear it a lot um, because that's people's style, but that's not what defines lo-fi hip hop according to them. I think what's more important is the pitch modulation. That brings that broken turntable vibe of the pitch going up and down. Um, he's descri um, describing wow and flutter or vinyl. Isotope has a plugin called vinyl that does that. The, the, the warp models, it'll do that. The thing, um, and also, two artists you should have mentioned are 1-2, W-U-N-2, and BSD.U. I do mention BSD.U, but he's right. I didn't mention him in that video. They were really big inspirations for the lo-fi scene. Have you ever heard of lo-fi.hiphop? That is a Reddit forum, I believe, if I'm not mistaken. It's the official forum by BSD.U for the lo-fi scene to discuss and exchange. Peace. So yeah, if any of you guys are about that forum life, like I used to be, or you're about that communications and... Um, researching and hunting old threads and looking at, you know, some of the things that people used to talk about within the three, three. I think it's three, I think it's three years. I think BSD.U, I, I say five, three to five years, if you like to go back historically. But anyway, so him giving us the outline, basically we, he just described to me where those two plugins, he described lo-fi might be more important for you to have isotope vinyl, if you're doing it in the box, or it's more important to have a good Hertz wow, which is probably the best one to do that thing. So I'm gonna try it out on this particular beat that I did. And then I'm gonna try to do it the reason way, which I've never done. I seen someone do it. I had one of the homies um, hit me up on Instagram. He told me it can be done, but I haven't functionally done it. So right now it's just abstract. Um, But other than that, I'm trying to think. There's a whole bunch of stuff I wanna talk about because a whole bunch of people hit me up over the holidays, but all their conversation is just ping-ponging in my head and I can't identify their faces. So 
I'll save it for a discussion video. But for now, let's play what I got with this Charlie Brown Christmas. One of them. Um, O Tannenbaum by Vincent. Not even gonna butcher the man's name. But y'all know who I'm talking about. He made the peanuts thing. Let's run it back. <laughs> So let's start with the basics. I'm on a mixed channel for Serato sample. And what I want to do is just insert a very basic effect. Let's start with what we know. We know they are describing wow and flutter. So fingers crossed my good hertz plugins work in reason. They do. For whatever reason, I haven't used them yet. So I'm put wow control on as an insert on the mixed channel for Serato sample. Let's go ahead and open that up. Let's go ahead and play this back and go through the different presets. Not bad. Wobbly cassette, seven point five. <laughs> They're talking about that. Now let's double down on that real quick with the drums in the tape on that element, because I doubt you'd want to wobble your drums, though stylistically you could. Let's put the Wolf Compressor, which is emulating the SP303 Vinyl Sim, and uh, put it all together. Let's see if it makes that kind of difference that he's talking about, if it matters. lit about both. It also has wow on it. And you can back off the hundred percent. I don't know man. That tape effect does do it. Like I hear it now, cause I've been listening to a lot of lo-fi. <laughs> like I told you guys, I'm not playing with it. Uh, I've been listening to a whole lot. I don't even know who all the people I'm listening to are. On SoundCloud, major key. Um, on SoundCloud, you can find a good lo-fi producer like uh, BSD.U, for instance, for the sake of this discussion. In fact, I found my favorite BSD.U track. Sorry for the sidebar. This, BSD.U, track name B, on the Axion channel for YouTube. I just searched BSD.U. I've heard his stuff before, but this is the one I was like, yeah, okay, I get it. <laughs> Sometimes you listen to people and you don't get it. They always have those tracks where you get it. Like Timberland has tracks where you get it. Like if you listen to Timberland now, you might not get it. But if you listen to his Aaliyah stuff, you get it. Same thing with Pharrell and Neptunes. You might not get some of his new stuff now, but if you listen to the stuff for Clips and NSYNC, you get it. So that, that track right there called B, I got it. All that's correct. That feeling and everything's correct, but it's, it's the drums that are off. And even on my drums, just in this example, with the MG Custom Kong, I don't have a, I have Decimal on, and it's not doing it for me, like at all. Like it's not bad, it's actually 12 bits, it's, it's fine. It's just not pronounced. It's not, that's not it. That's not like the end all be all. All three of these plugins together is still not how that stuff sounds. It's a little bit more sophisticated. And that's the crazy part because it's lo-fi hip hop. It's not supposed to be that deep. Um, For me, I might just start resampling in my hardware, my sample track on my SP, but I'm gonna try Volf here real quick. Another Volf in the compressor mode. Let's see what happens. might have to use two Volfs, and that static in the background never goes away when you use these plugins. So definitely keep that in mind. <clears throat> so it's an interesting experiment. For a person like me that already has these plugins, it's good to be reminded that I have everything already. 
in in terms of aesthetics. I don't need to. I don't need new plugins. I need to double down on what I knew when I got those plugins. I, when I got those plugins and for lo-fi, matter of fact, I've been, I've been conscious of this decision I'm making in 2018 since my first Good Hertz video. Like the month or two leading up to me being able to afford those plugins, because I bought them, um, I was researching. It kind of intersected with when I got the SP. So when, once I got the SP404, I was like, oh, don't need the plugins. The SP404 doesn't have the SP303 vinyl sim. So in reality, I don't need SP-303, more so. And then the WOW, I use it a little bit, especially on my pads, like uh, like cold pads, when I use FL a lot, I throw WOW on things all the time. I just don't use it for that, that wobble that he was talking about. And now that I'm conscious or confirmed that it's actually, they're saying, yeah, you want the wobble, then WOW is perfect. And now the prices make sense. If you get Wolf and WoW, you pretty much bought a lo-fi machine, <laughs> really, because I think they're like 270 when you buy them together, like the price for both. So um, it makes a lot of sense. Um, Good Hertz is ahead of the curve. I was actually uh, pitching another plug-in idea at them, but I might um, double down and double check on that situation because the plugin I'm thinking about that they should do would, yeah, that would be the only other plug in we need but yeah so this is what's going on for now now the reason part of this i don't want to do that and rely on wow for the people watching just in case you don't have wow so i wanted to try that experiment of using the tape effect that this delay gives us or that they told us about so i want to drag this in as an insert with pulverizer so i'm bringing pulverizer in first <clears throat> and this is only on the sample and then i want to bring the echo in and i don't think the order matters from what i've seen and from what i've heard the most important thing about this particular mode, I wanna bypass pulverizer even for now, is that the feedback is what creates your delays from this thing. Yeah, the feedback creates those kind of delays. And that's the delay I was talking about in my Tribe Call Quest video on Machine Masters. It's this kind of delay, it's a tape delay. So turn feedback down, wet all the way up, and we have to adjust wobble and delay itself. That's the tape effect. And then the wobble, of course, you increase. So what Pulverizer does, the reason why I saw this, because I was watching a propeller head video for something totally different. I forgot what they used it for. They're using Pulverizer to modulate a delay. This module, I think it's called Trimmer, as a mechanism, as like an LFO, basically. And basically, in human speak, an LFO, an LFO, in the way I look at it, it's an automation curve. And I got really used to this because the Cable Guys plugins, you notice like the Cable Guys plugins give you a block of samples that runs through it. And then you draw your curve for like tape stops and stuff within that. That thing we're drawing is an LFO, basically. A custom one, albeit. On a synthesizer, LFO is a fixed shape, you know, like sine, square, triangle, etc. But it's being automated. It's just constantly that shape and it drawing through that shape. Anyway, a lot of y'all already know that. In case you were like me, you didn't know that for the past 20 years, now we do. All right, so the one from here, the trimmer modulation and LFO, we could drag that to anything on this delay. So right here we have delay time, filter frequency, roll and trig. So those are only things that we can affect. Eh, I wish we could affect wobble. I think we can modulate wobble. I just wish wobble had a CV gate. Yeah, propeller heads had a CV gate for wobble because kids are making lo-fi now. But anyway, we can't do that. So imagining that we needed to do that and you didn't want to automate this, although you should for now until they add it, we're going to use this trimmer and we're going to plug it into delay time because that's the other component of our delay that needs to move. This is just the amount. And this amount means how much does this LFO affect the effect that you're plugging it to? Whatever this is connected to, do you want it affected 100%, so values between 0 and 100? Or do you want to affect just a little bit of values, let's say between 0 and 25? It's really simple. I wish I'd known this a long time ago. And I think this needs to be on. But it needs to be dry. We don't need to hear pulverizer unless you're using it. So the rate of the LFO is doing that. got it. I don't need to do anything else. That's it. Whatever this setting is, I don't even know what I did. 
That's it. This is it. Yeah, that to delay time, which is here. It's modulating that, but I thought it would draw it. It's not drawing it. It's doing it, though. thing I'm kind of trash at I don't know what I'm doing like uh <laughs> what I mean is I <laughs> it's still abstract although I'm doing it like I don't know what I don't know if rate increase rates faster frequency higher cool so it's moving it so fast we can't hear it but if you slow it down rate slow slower rate subharmonic rate it's moving that time knob up and down slower but it sounds like it's actually moving it versus this. But when you turn it in the middle, 50%, you can hear it modulating. So 100% at a little bit of delay time. Let me increase it then. Now that sounds fine back it up 50 percent causes phasing or chorus that's dope too but we don't need that 100 percent i like that effect i don't know why off on yeah that's going to be my preset so with that being said let me see if this module lets me create a combinator oh you can't combine it because it is indeed itself a combinator so what that means is in our mixer we can save it from the mixer actually that's smarter so under serato sample edit inserts they're there so now we can save that and you save it whatever you want i'll call it accidental tape meaning that was an accident i didn't expect that to be that easy or go that smooth but I might go back and tweak the arrangement of them and make new presets too, which I recommend you do. Now I need some reverb. It needs a better reverb uh, preset. Halls. Master section, we'll go to our old faithful. I'm still getting used to this mouse, forgive me guys. And there's no scroll wheel, so it's a little janky. And we want it to sound like the ASR-10, that's my personal preference, because Jake won and Alchemist. ASR10 users, and I honestly think that machine is it. Timbaland, Pharrell, all of them. But it's not dirty. I'm just going to do this again because repetition makes perfection. The Thor process as a filter. Because Thor is an instrument and we dragged it in as an effect, it's not connected to anything by default, which is actually pretty useful. What I have to do is figure out uh, so input. It's coming from the module prior. Makes sense. Makes sense. So I need the output to go of this guy. Yeah, whatever. Left, left, right, right. Okay. And then that's correct. But then the output of this guy, I need to go to here. Cool. <sighs> left, right, left, right. All right. Now in Thor itself, when we connect it that way, we're going to have a source, which is audio input one for left. And we got source audio input two for right amount. It's going to be 100% on both 100% level. We want that to be routed to the filter section, filter three, because that's where we could choose the different filters. In fact, you could do filter one and two as well. But I'm using filter three in this particular setup. Shout to the homie and Reese. And this one. Cool. This is the whole track going through Thor. Just this module though. And then that frequency is 11025 on the 303. This range, 
Let me just try the different slopes. There's envelopes too. I don't mess with that on filters yet until I know what I'm doing. I like that. That'd be cool for an effect. That's dirty. This one or comb filter. So that's what the kids said they're doing. They're using wobble, man. They said don't sweat the sweat, don't sweat the technique. Use wobble. And Reason has wobble. So maybe you could save three hundred dollars and not buy Wow and Wolf. <laughs> Let me see what the parameters we can adjust though. Just a little bit now. On top of what this guy is doing. And he has different shapes too. You can hear the shape. That's crazy. That's why they use trimmer. It has way more LFO shapes. Smooth sine wave works. future hopefully you guys enjoy your holidays enjoy your new year um hopefully you learned something different or new from me doing this particular demonstration like i said it's just something light it's christmas eve no it's not christmas eve it's the night after christmas kind of thing um i'm mg the future if you're not a subscriber definitely subscribe appreciate all your guys support until next time peace